All right, well, with no more uh, uh, delay, welcome Pascal. Thanks. Ah. I don't. So uh, a couple things. Um, so in my day job, I'm an emergency manager, and I, rep I help coordinate and response for about the 2 million people of King County. And as King County being the 800-pound gorilla in the state of Washington, we assist in a lot of other areas and to help support that. On my nighttime job, I'm also one of the lead coordinators for a group called Crisis Commons. And we're a virtual operations type of a group that helps build tools for disasters. The zombie part comes into play in the process for us to be able to adapt to a situation that we don't know yet, but that could be viable for the citizens, you, to understand. How many of you really think a zombie attack could take place? It's kind of close to the other couple weeks ago when we had someone in Florida in a little case there. We had a cannibalism case in Canada. You know, body parts kind of flying over through the mail. Some people thought of that. Well, the zombie effect came by the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, because it helped people realize what they needed to prepare for because it was something that they could attach to. How would you like to have this? Remind me of the safety plan or the evacuation plan for Lincoln High School downtown when I show up on scene. So we're adapting technology that you guys are using just for normal sales and advertising. Hey, tell me when I walk in the Starbucks that a latte is 50 cents cheaper today than it would be tomorrow if I buy it before 2 o'clock. Instead, when a police officer walks in, it doesn't say buy two donuts, get one free. It actually says, hey, this is the evacuation plan for this business if there was an active shooter here. Because most of the time when cops go on the scene, they're going to scenes that they're not used to. They're going to scenes that there's a lot of stress and anxiety going to. Firefighters, they might be on a different shift than the day they got security briefing. Auxiliary firefighters may be coming in and supporting an event because it's so massive in wildfire areas. So how can you adapt the technology and not just in a promotional capability, but in a public safety capability? How many of you have been in a fire, major fire, like a forest fire where you had to be evacuated? Any sort of damage to your house, you know, the windstorm. You know, a tree falls over in your neighborhood or damages your house. Is that your responsibility? Is it could be responsibility of the government? Do you know that information? The process is so convoluted, and I took this example as the workflow, that this is what happens. It's so complex that do you even know the Small Business Administration is a place that individuals can go to for assistance after a disaster? Because you might run a small business in your home. That information is so challenging that we can't get that out and actually serve the people that we need to and provide them the money they need to restore their operations. There's a lot of technology, there's a lot of capability, but it goes back to that when I started the saying is, will we even have it? Will we have the internet? Will we have the connectivity? And as disasters happen more and more, we're recognizing that the technology actually is survivable. The technology can overcome the challenge. SMS worked in Haiti. SMS worked great, and data worked great in Christchurch. And how many of you ever saw for the first time a live tsunami take lives on TV at home? For us, we look at it as phenomenal training video. But I remember sitting in front of my TV that night and going, that's a, like a 30-foot wave, and that helicopter pilot must be just going off the hook. I didn't understand what he was saying, but they were showing live Japanese footage of a tsunami hitting the coastline, and you could see cars with people driving them going away. People were dying in front of you. How do we adapt to that? And how do we, we take that tool that could be created for us to be able to save your life and to see that? Thank you very mm -hmm. much. No problem. Thank you so much. That was incredible.